news and events that affect your life. Hear about it on the new 106.7 My Talker Radio. Now, Curtis Wright on the beat. Hour number two at 7.05 across southeastern North Carolina. Boy, it is humid out there. You be safe traveling around and keep it tuned here on the new 106.7 FM My Talker Radio. We are on the beat and we are here with Thomas Vass. This is our special segment. Uh, Cape Fear Capital Connections. Please join us on Facebook. If you haven't liked our Facebook page for this segment, uh, Thomas is posting a lot of information there and will continue to post a lot of information. We're also posting his presentations, if you, his PowerPoint presentations that he's put together to uh, lead our discussions each week. Those are there. And also, after we're done, uh, the videotape of our uh, our discussions here each week are up on our virtual channel on the new live stream. So check it all out and follow us. And good morning, Thomas. How you doing? Hey, Curtis. How you doing? It's good to be with you. Well, welcome back. And we've been talking, for those who uh, haven't been able to tune in to the previous segments, what we're talking about is uh, creating, if you will, uh, a capital market, uh, capital funding infrastructure here in uh, southeastern North Carolina. Uh, crowdfunding is part of that, which is a unique um a unique form of funding uh, the startup of businesses and small businesses and the growth of businesses and uh, crowdfunding and how it spurs economic growth here in the Cape Fear region. Great, it, exactly. One of the things that er, in your earlier segment you were talking about the chaos that's been created in the country. One part of that chaos is the dramatic loss of jobs and the dramatic loss of income. So where I want to start today on crowdfunding to overcome that is to connect with what you were talking about earlier, chaos. And the really important issue is to, um, to, to disengage from Washington and do as much as we can for self-sufficiency, self-reliancy in our own economy. We're going to have to take more control if we can get our liberties back. And that's a big if, but if we can do our liberties and get them back, then we need to create our own economic structure. We can't rely on the global bankers. We can't rely on Washington. We can't even rely on, on Raleigh very much to help us. We're going to have to do an awful lot of new, um, new economic activity in the Cape Fear region and take a lot better care of our companies down here. And one of the things that I want to talk about in terms of chaos is that we've lost um, about eight thousand dollars per year per family in north carolina uh, in the last ten years as a result of the economic weaknesses and that's true for the cape fear so that's where i want to start we've got a now that's medium income you're talking that's about, right, right? Me median family income in north carolina has declined from around forty nine thousand to forty one thousand in ten years that our families are going backwards and i want to begin just about every segment of our program to talk about this, this severe economic pressure that our North Carolina families are under and what we can do about that. And the most important thing is to start taking better control for self-reliant economic growth. And that's why this capital market infrastructure that I'm talking about in crowdfunding today is so important to the future of North Carolina. You know, and correct me uh, if I'm wrong, but, um, well, First of all, we do know the statistics, and the statistics show that uh, at this time, in the last couple years here, uh, sadly, and it's going on uh, to into the future if we don't do something creative, something new, uh, we have the least amount of new businesses being started. And of course, as you've pointed out to us, 65% uh, or plus of jobs that are created are created by those small businesses. That's right. You know, constantly coming back in, repopulating, that kind of cycle of life, if you will, mm -hmm. in the private sector business world. We need that, and we need it more than ever right now, yet the capital isn't there right. uh, for, and, and in different ways, for these folks to get up and running or take that risk. Precisely the case. There's not capital, and we're not taking very good care of our existing companies, our existing manufacturer and technology companies. Our Cape Fear region extends to Cumberland County, to Fayetteville. We need to start seeing ourselves in, in New Hanover and Pender and Onslow. We need to start seeing ourselves as a regional economy, just like the people up in Wake County and Durham and Orange County see themselves as the research triangle. We need to start seeing ourselves as the Cape Fear region. 
And crowdfunding allows an opportunity. It's a brand new technique for raising capital. Crowdfunding allows investors in the seven county Cape Fear region to target capital investments to existing Cape Fear companies. The most important companies are the ones that are manufacturers and textiles and, and furniture and all the things that we've had in North Carolina and we lost. And it was a really stupid policy that allowed our, our, our manufacturing industry to leave our state. But crowdfunding is a new technique that allows investors to find local companies and make private investments. Not These companies don't trade on the New York Stock Exchange or anywhere else. So we've got to create a mechanism, an internet-based mechanism, to allow investors to find companies and to allow companies to find investors. And, and, I'm, and not to be repetitive, but um, I have gone down the path of, of bringing folks in over the last couple years that really are focused on venture capital. And venture capital is not the same, and the focus of a venture capitalist is not the same as what we're talking about. And what we really, you know, that's, that's let's see if we can put some money in, get a big pop out of this thing. It's, to me, it's like a short-term type of thinking. What we need is to create a, as you say, capital funding structure where it is a long-term, it's a long-term vision. It's getting a company started. Uh, not that, you know, here it is, hit it, make a bunch of money, you know, then move it out of here or jettison yourself, where's your exit plan and all that. No, this is about creating the next generation, then the next generation of a diverse, a diverse economy or a diverse, uh, if you will, community of businesses. That's exactly right. And, and just to reiterate that point, up in Raleigh right now, there is a crowdfunding bill that would allow North Carolina residents to exempt themselves from the federal government. That's primarily a special interest piece of legislation for venture capitalists and angel partnerships. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about crowdfunding for North Carolina established companies that we can use to uh, strengthen our, our regional economy. And that's real important. You know, I've heard from some folks that have been listening to you just in the first couple segments, and they, they've they been asking about that bill, and they're concerned about it because they've been involved in crowdfunding and saying that bill is not about crowdfunding. That bill is about protecting special interests. And so you are going to also try to feed uh, – you know, information to our legislators right. to try to say, no, 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 let's look at what crowdfunding should be in North Carolina. Exactly right. And to strengthen, <clears throat> to strengthen the Cape Fear regional right. economy, we've got to have a new infrastructure just like roads and sewer lines and our physical infrastructure. We've got to do something good. And the crowdfunding bill that we need allows North Carolina residents and Cape Fear residents to exempt themselves from the federal government regulations and to target their investments directly to North Carolina and Cape Fear companies, and that's where we need to go. You mentioned um, on your slides and on, in your presentation here, it's wisdom in the crowds, you say. In crowdfunding, a company promotes and advertises the opportunity to buy stock in a company. You know, as, I, as I've been more educated by you on this issue, it seems to me it's like the old idea of a community coming together or people coming together. Uh, that are buying into a friend's or a neighbor's idea, and okay, so let's let's give it a shot. That's exactly you know? right. And and I want to assure your listeners that this is not a new idea. We came out of the Civil War in 1865, and our state's economy was devastated, and there was no capital after the Civil War. And the way that we generated jobs back then and the way that we generated incomes was to – crowd fund in each metropolitan region in Charlotte and Burlington and Greensboro the the way that we got the largest Burlington Industries and all the other denim manufacturers up there was citizens in Greensboro raised capital for those textile companies and that's how we can save their communities that's right. to save their communities and and it's just it's such an interesting idea I love it because it's uh, to me it really reflects the American ideal like you said, it's, you call it personal, um, but I say it's also communal, that getting together and, and, and you know, building your communities. Let's uh, continue our discussion. Again, this presentation, as the previous ones, are on our Facebook page, which is Cape Fear Capital Connections. Make sure you like it, follow it. Actually, you can actually print off and download uh, the presentations and share with your friends, neighbors, business associates. 
We're here with Thomas Vass. I'm Curtis Wright on the beat. Stay with us. Wake up, Southeastern North Carolina. Good morning. 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 Curtis Wright is on the beat. The new 106.7 My Talker Radio. We're back live here on the beat with Thomas Bass, and this is Cape Fear Capital Connections. Special segment every Monday morning, and I hope you tune in. Tell your friends and your business associates to tune in. I'm excited about uh, uh, exploring, and, and we're actually uh, looking at exploring uh, capital uh, crowdfunding. And uh, I, I just think, uh, you know, it's so American. That's the way I explain it. It is, you know, people getting together. Uh, and looking at ideas and looking at uh, solutions, and that's really what it is. And, and, you know, helping ideas get off the ground and helping companies get started and helping getting people employed. One of the, the things uh, that you talk about, it, well, really, for, cap, for, the, for the crowdfunding to succeed, the more people that know, the better. The more people that are involved, the more people that are educated, the more people that are connecting, if you will, mm -hmm. and that's why we call it uh, Cape Fear Capital Connection. And we've got a couple of things we're going to be doing, and I thought I'd let you go ahead and talk about it because that's part of the solution, part of the starting point of bringing people together throughout the region. When we talk about capital market infrastructure, we're talking about a social business infrastructure, <clears throat> and it's not so much capital. It's business networking. It's very similar to a monthly business networking event. And your your radio program and your radio station has sponsored something like that called Cape Fear Capital Connections. And that monthly event is a social networking event where people that care about the Cape Fear economy, that care about jobs, that care about incomes and, and, and career opportunities for the residents of the Cape Fear region, can come to that monthly meeting. And they can supplement the information that they get from the internet by actually meeting each other. And that's a strong, strong economic factor for growth letting people see each other, letting people meet each other, establishing the personal and business connections in a social networking event. So one of the things that we need to do in terms of capital market... I'm going to stop there for a second, though, Thomas. You know, um, far too many times in the past, and I have been part of them, and I know that they're a part of them now, um, let's get together and have some drinks and have some fun. You know, I, have, I was lucky enough in Los Angeles as a young man to be part of what was called the Designers Club. It was part of something very important in my industry. It was at the uh, Los Angeles Design Center where my offices were, and it was upstairs. Um, and I'm talking about people who, if, uh, from the outside, you would look uh, at and say, well, they're your competitors. You know, and yes, we had a fiercely competitive market. Matter of fact, the largest office furniture market in the whole country. Uh, and some would say in the world out of Los Angeles. But that's not what it was about. We talked about our industry. We talked about where we were going, when we're having. But, we, the, but I, my point is, it wasn't to get it together and throw down a few beers and, and wow, doesn't the uh, sunset look great? No, it was to come together after either a day or a long week of work. And these are serious people talking about serious issues, but in a social setting. And so, you know, we were, it, it, it was something not, you know, we have plenty of things in our market to have fun. And it's not necessarily I'm saying this is the type of thing isn't fun. It's about being serious. Well, and there are the, people that are serious about helping the economy grow and meeting others. And, and all of a sudden, wow, I didn't know you were here or I didn't know you were here and connecting. And part of what we need to do in crowdfunding is to use the knowledge and the ideas of everybody. And we need to connect everyone. So this is a a meeting, a monthly meeting, that focuses on strengthening the regional economy. And it allows citizens better control over their economic future by bringing them together. It's an infrastructure. Mm -hmm. That infrastructure, that monthly social networking event, needs to be supplemented by a quarterly event called the Cape, the Re the Cape Fear Regional Capital Exchange. And that's where three, every quarter, we want to introduce three CEOs from the seven county region and let them talk and make presentations. The purpose of that quarterly event is to help companies raise capital here in the Cape Fear. 
And what we want to do is eventually we want to turn that Cape Fear Regional Capital Exchange into the Cape Fear Regional Stock Exchange. We want to have our own regional stock exchange. And this is all part of the disengagement from Washington. This is all part of us taking more self-control, self-reliant economic control away from Washington and not being so dependent on business and financial elites to control our destiny. And, and that's, you, you know, that's been part of the discussions we've had here. How do we get the private sector back into the driver's seat of this bus instead of government? Government should be, play a supporting role. Uh, as we see in South Carolina, uh, you know, the approach there is, okay, do we need better roads to support economic development? Do we need some water and sewer? Do we need other types of things like that? Do we need, uh, do we have some silly regulations that are holding up things that have really no effect? Do we have tax burdens or, or fee burdens? That's where government should be. Driving the bus should be the private sector. Precisely the case. And one of the things that we want to do is, is to shift the political discussion in North Carolina away from giving tax incentives to outside corporations that don't strengthen our North Carolina economy. And we want to retarget those incentives to North Carolina investors and give them a tax credit for making a capital investment in a North Carolina company and then giving the company itself a tax credit when they when they make the investments in jobs and income. So I want to change the way that we do industrial recruitment incentives and start calling it capital market incentives for North Carolina companies. It would make a lot more sense. Now, uh, you know, so much of what we're talking about, the people are say, tr saying, hey, that sounds great, not, and this sounds great. And, um, but someone out there I know or listening says, well, has this been done before? Now, I, I, and I'm coming back to it, I'm not to be repetitive. But it has been done before. You have been involved in this before. And this is very exciting. Matter of fact, I was, I was at one of our events and met someone who was just nuts about crowdfunding. I'm trying to connect the two of you together, who's done it, an entrepreneur, who's right. done it with some other entrepreneurs. Right. And just like, man, this is such a, this is, this is the future, and this is what we should be doing. And the point there is that crowdfunding acts as a tool for economic development and economic growth in North Carolina. And, the, and, and to give you an example of the difference, on your Hollywood film incentives, when the, when the Hollywood producers come here and they get the incentives and they leave, they leave nothing of value. They leave nothing of economic permanency to North Carolina. If we retargeted those investments to North Carolina companies, those companies are not going anywhere. They're going to stay here. They'll continue to create jobs. That's why we've got to have that capital component in the crowdfunding bill that we need in, in Raleigh. Well, that, well, that's the point. You know, again, not to be repetitive, is make it an incentive to invest here, uh, to build here, to reinvest here as you become successful not to take it and go somewhere else. Exactly. And within the Cape Fear economy, within the seven-county region of Cape Fear, there are six very important technology manufacturing clusters. We know that if we target investments to those firms in those clusters, they will create economic growth in, in the Cape Fear region. And that would create jobs. It's not going to happen overnight. One thing that I want to close with in our, in our segment today um, is to give our listeners my, uh, my assessment of the best technology stock in all of America, and that's called CryoLife. And you can see that on our website uh, on my talk or radio. Uh, and the reason I'm suggesting that is we have, CryoLife is a, a large publicly traded corporation, uh, trades under the symbol CRY. We have an awful lot of companies that are, are many cryolice here in, in Cape Fear and we need to be targeting private investment but if you're a public investor and you want to look at a company that I uh, I use my patented methodology to select these companies it trades under the symbol CRY and this is an example of what we need to be creating here in the Cape Fear they develop manufacture and commercialize medical devices for cardiac and vascular applications uh, we we should be we should be supplementing our health industry here in New Hanover County. We've got the, the, the very first part of that cluster, and we need to be doing everything we can to help that cluster grow. Folks, don't forget to follow us. Follow Thomas Voss. Uh, he is uh, on our Facebook, uh, new Facebook page, Cape Fear Capital 
Connections. And uh, we'll be announcing soon uh, the relaunch, uh, if you will, uh, under Thomas uh, of Cape Fear Business Connections. That is our monthly uh, social event. And we're really ex excited about the Cape Fear Capital Exchange, which will happen on the quarterly basis. And we'll be talking about more of that. Again, all of, uh, of Thomas's presentations are on the Facebook page, and we have more to come on places that you can connect. Don't forget, and you can watch his interview on our new live stream channel. I'm Curtis Wright. We'll be right back here on The Beat. Stay with us.